on that. Am I on? Yes. Welcome. Why can't I? Ah, oh, yeah, okay. It's all right, just checking to see whether you're there. <laughs> okay, we've had a request, so I will try and explain a few things. When someone crosses over and they want to communicate, we have found that they'll try subtle methods, like sending you things that are connected with them. Excuse me, I'm at my eye because I've got a new eye infection. Ah, I have to get some antibiotics from somewhere. Okay, enough of me. Um, and you will soon say, well, where have I got this from? This person crossed over ages ago and now I'm finding it. Because they're trying to communicate. This is one of the most vital things. When this happens, then I advise you write their name down. Dedicate a candle, a tea light, put it on your altar in their name. To let them know in the, in the other world that you have received their message and to thank them. Also it acts as a like a beacon to draw them to you. You'll find this is very important for they must have a message if they do this for you. A lot of strange things have occurred Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get into town on shopping on Friday uh, due to medical reasons, which I'm not going to go into, otherwise I'll never hear the last of it. I'm very pleased with the way things are being developed and the way things are going. It's good to to know these things are happening. And I'm looking forward to hearing some of your comments. It's lovely to see some of you are, are now more active. You're going into sites. You're, you want to know information. Well, this group is not just a site for information. <laughs> it's my way of communicating with each one of you to help you, to inform you, those who want to know higher things. Um, this is the site to go to. This is why we produce these videos for you. Now, I know I have three videos to do today, so I'll crack on a bit. The dragon is still in the den. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dark Raven one is still in the den. I'll give you a bath. <laughs> 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 yeah. As well as punching me in the eye, and causing me severe damage to my left eye and kicking me out the den that I, I had to come out here and sleep out here on a very uncomfortable floor 
Oh, how tragic. That's lies. Never mind him. Did you hear Pinocchio over there? Big nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must be true because I got no, no comments from her indoors. Now, seriously, she's in there at the moment working away on vital things. Like games. Shut up. <laughs> you, know how, you know how to pick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Dark Raven one has put a lot of stuff on the site that is invaluable. A lot of information has gone on the site. But, as I've always said, You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. All the information I can give you, all the, uh, even one of our secret societies we have got um, on site, it's not a secret society as such, but it's a society. Um, a very old one at that. All these things we, we, we put on to and special courses. Crystal Spirit Woman has put on courses on on Indian head massage, which I hope some of you have taken advantage of because we have been re a recipient to this, and she is very good at what she does. So I put out a challenge: those who have information that can develop this into a course, come on, do it. It doesn't matter the knowledge that I have. It matters the knowledge that you have, that you could share with each other. Remember, we are a family, and as a family, we work together. And it will benefit everyone here, I feel sure of. So if you feel like doing a tarot course, I mean even uh, Earthwalker put on a course on, on uh, runic law. We've all, uh, we put on courses on witchcraft and plus many more of different avenues. We want, all we want you, all we want from you is to, for you to advance spiritually. To be able to see spirit, to be able to communicate with spirit. To be able to enter different astral worlds and to understand we are nothing but a glorified hologram in effect, made up of atoms, neutrons, that's all we are. We exist in this thing called a human body, which is just a, a biological machine, nothing more. The real essence of you is what operates that machine. Grasp this and link with the universal mind. Feel their power, feel their energy. Nothing is impossible. But a point I'd like to make, do not use magic over common sense as a shortcut. It won't work, folks. You apply all the logical and earthly means you can. If your car won't start in the morning, you don't start praying over it. You don't start using Reiki over it. You take it to a mechanic first and foremost. If he finds nothing wrong, then is the time to start using a more powerful system. 
If a human being falls sick, the same thing applies. The body needs its own mechanic. Be wary of who you choose or what doctor you choose. And what's, <laughs> what kind of service bay you end up in. But you need a mechanic. If an animal falls sick, you take it to an animal mechanic, known as a vet. This is common sense. One of our members, who is well known, has done all these things. She used logic and used her common sense. Then used magic to accelerate it. This is how it should be done. A lot of a lot of people out there tend to use try to use magic as a a cheap way of getting over the problem. It isn't gonna work folks. You have to show willing. You have to show your intention. You show intention by applying to every source possible. The powers of the universal mind are always your last resort. Although I'm a healer, I am more interested in expanding your spiritual knowledge to a phenomenal rate to expand so that you can travel and actually visit these other worlds. Sitting down and just reading about it isn't going to expand anything. You have to use intention. You have to really want it. Otherwise, you end up just being a statistic. So I ask you and challenge you, are you a statistic? Or are you really a seeker? I have been practicing since 1960. Admittedly, I made a few blunders on the way. But I have worked since then. So I have gained a certain amount of information. I was born with second sight, which as a child it frightened the living day daylights out of me. Because nobody understood what was happening to me. I was taken to psychologists. I was taken to psychiatrists. I was even taken to a born-again church where they tend to beat the devil out, the devil that was in me. Come on, for God's sake. This is medieval hypocrisy. Medieval rubbish. I am what I am, and I try and prove this constantly, though I don't have to prove it to myself. But if you're working on someone, then you must, they must have confidence in you to be able to do this. There must be a mental link on that strange web, a strand must be used. For Fourteen speed. minutes have passed then. Okay, so I can use tachyon to help heal. It isn't the all in all. It isn't a, the, a result that should be done before conventional systems are done. 
it's done as an enhancement to a conventional system. Okay, I leave you with these lovely thoughts. And it's nice to see you lovely people out there hiding behind the settee. I mean, even her indoors has to hide in the bed. She don't come out here. Oh, oh she... <laughs> Namaste. I'm Shanti. <laughs>